in this century with a global economy um, and with skills being much more knowledge oriented than uh, you know physically oriented uh, education and, and in particular public education is that much more important for us to be uh, a competitive country with a competitive economy the first step has to be to get the ability to measure and reward performance just the way it is in any other workplace first of all your goals are, are not simply nor should they be bottom line there really isn't a bottom line second it's not even about money it but but then after that the similarities get to be quite uh, distinct uh, it's about motivating people it's about assuming you can succeed it's about finding uh, people who are succeeding and figuring out what they're doing and replicating what they're doing with other people who aren't succeeding so you can train them. Um, it's about teamwork. Um, it's about motivating people and not you know, penalizing or punishing poor performance as much as acknowledging poor performance and seeing if you can improve it. Um, it's, uh, it's much the same. The, the difference is the bottom line is measured differently. One of the ideas that, that when, when you mention charter networks, one of the things that the effective ones have gotten good at is um, the notion of training. Of, of, of you know, they will have as much as a month in advance of the beginning of the school year to train people. They will constantly measure their teachers. They won't measure them just on tests. They're just there's a constant emphasis on performance, and then on replicating what works, measuring what works, and explaining that and training other teachers in what works. Where it's ultimately gonna break down is, the, and what I conclude in my book, is you can't just say, let's just have, you know, uh, 3.2 million teachers teaching the way teachers teach in charter schools. You can't find that many people who are, who are motivated to work 10, 12 hours a day, who are willing to take, and should be willing to take phone calls at all hours of the night and all, all hours of the weekend from parents some young relatively young people you know coming out of good schools and teaching at charter schools for three or four years who don't have kids don't have families they can do that but they'll burn out and the central challenge of the education reform movement is that management challenge which is uh, you can't take you know the 30 or 40,000 best and brightest who might be teaching in charter schools, you, you can't turn them into 3.2 million K-12 teachers. Um, so what can you do to take someone of average intelligence, above average motivation, but not stark raving crazy motivation the way a lot of these charter school teachers are, what can you do to um, scale that? That's really hard.